weather team certified by weather rate sponsored by AC designs. Bravo. Well, let's take a look. Uh, of course, many say skating started in the ocean until it was flat and we still had to do something. But there is the ocean, and I suspect a lot of folks will be getting in the ocean this weekend. Looks beautiful. Remember, though, it is dangerous in there if you're an inexperienced swimmer because of the swell coming from Hurricane Ernesto. In fact, the lifeguards have had the red flags up since this morning, and those red flags will be flapping all weekend long. That's not me saying don't go, but at least talk to the lifeguards before even thinking about taking you or your uh, loved ones out there. Let's take a look what is way out there. We're talking now 800 miles east of us. And although there's a lot of shear, and I think many of us have learned through the decades that shear tends to want to weaken a hurricane because the oceans are so warm, we've talked about it for a couple of years now, record warm ocean temperatures, that that in a way is offsetting what the shear would normally do. Uh, can you see the eye even on the satellite analysis? That is a big eye because this is a big hurricane. But again, that's 800 miles. Can you see the little rock there? That's Bermuda. I've been told it's beautiful there. Uh, maybe some of you have, have been there or, or have plans. Well, Bermuda is more than likely, well, we'll feel an eye wall, and it could be that the eye goes right over Bermuda. Now, the good news for our friends in Bermuda, relatively speaking, is that it doesn't look like the hurricane's going to intensify anymore, but it certainly will stay large, and it's going to maintain itself at least pretty close to a 100 mile per hour hurricane and then eventually uh, it's going to skirt the coastal areas of southeastern Canada. So uh, hur hurricane warning, no doubt about it. Just wanted to show you and how close that that hurricane is going to come to the island. I mean, the uh, we're now within 18 hours of making landfall and the 18 hour forecast average error is down to about 20 miles. So it's pretty much a given the eye wall will hit Bermuda. What about us? Well, pretty much a given the breeze, the wind, depending on how you call it, continues out of the northeast and east. And although it's coming in off of the warm ocean, which means there's still a lot of moisture at the surface right above the surface. That is 5000 feet. The air is just too dry for any precipitation until we get toward Sunday. But since sunrise starts well at the beaches, I thought I'd start with our coastal areas uh, again. Powerful long period swell will continue through the weekend. For those of you that do like the surf, the best combination of wind and swell will be tomorrow. But that swell will still be out there on Sunday as well. Back over land if you just care about Getting up early on a Saturday, a nice start. I had to put this in here, 69 degrees, not a lot, but for some of us, temperatures will start off below the 70 degree mark. We even saw that in a few spots well west of downtown Jacksonville this morning. And then, yes, going up to 90 degrees during the afternoon, but not too humid. In other words, that 90 will feel like 90. Then the humidity begins to increase. Moisture begins to increase. There might be a few daytime thunderstorms on Sunday, but I think most of the thunderstorms will hold off until after about 6 p.m. And notice I'm showing you a partly cloudy sky, meaning uh, more of us will go through the day dry on Sunday. But just be aware uh, it's still mid August. So of course that moisture and heat were going to return. And by Monday, 60% uh, of us at least will have thunderstorms. Now, if you're making plans beyond Monday, the heat will continue to be with us, but maybe a bit of a decrease in showers and thunderstorms. So for instance, if you're already making work day plans after a restful weekend, looks like the highest risk of thunderstorms will be Monday. It's going to decrease on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then maybe another front, maybe a almost soaker type of a nor'easter could be developing and blowing in next Thursday. All right, Tim, thank you.